Barakatai Hawa, Barakatai Hawa Shai, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing this work in Syrian truth. And it is an all out assault, a uh, spiritual assault on um, these Christian churches. Okay? All right? And um, basically, you know, um, we labor with these scriptures week in and week out, you know? And, um, you know, Ultimately, you know, it's really the milk scriptures is what's going to cut these these uh, uh, these congregations. OK, um, these milk scriptures are going to cut um, these uh, uh, the stronghold. OK, that has a hold of our people. OK, this is the, 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 the biggest stronghold. But the milk is what's going to break away the elect out of that web that is set up. OK, you know, and um. You know, I just wanted to pull a couple of precepts, you know, concerning the matter of the Christian church. And um, um, I hope it's edifying. This is Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 2. Son of man, prophesy against the, the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear ye the word of Yahweh. Okay, so that word right there, um, Lord, is in all caps. That's um, Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father's name. Okay, in the Hebrew, all right, and he's speaking, all right, to Ezekiel, which was um, a man sent by Yahweh, okay, to speak unto the prophets that prophesy uh, uh, of Israel, that prophesy uh, the prophets of Israel, okay, that the leaders of these people, okay, all right. So he's speaking to Ezekiel, and he's telling him, he's giving him uh, um, a commandment, okay, to speak his word, okay. Verse 3, thus say the Lord Yahweh, thus say the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing, you know, and a lot of these prophets, they're foolish, okay, because they speak out of their own vain heart, you know, and they tell the congregation that they've seen visions, that, the, um, that Yahweh has given them visions, okay, and our people uh, uh, gravitate to these people, okay, because they have uh, uh, these uh, three-piece suits, okay, they have these Savitor Famagamo wingtip shoes, okay, uh, jewelry, okay, these big uh, immaculate churches, so, you know, these people are, are uh, uh, love to, to believe a lie, our people love to believe a lie, you know, verse 4, O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert, you know, and those those prophets, they're um, you know, a fox is a sly animal, okay. So a lot of these uh, uh prophets, okay, these pastors, which I would say, okay, because they're not prophets, okay, all right, you know, the word prophet means to to to, to say before, you know, all right. But what they're, they're speaking of is, is they're speaking of, of 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 lies and hypocrisy, you see, you know, but. Getting back to the fox, you know, that fox is a sly animal. And these people know that they're leading uh, 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 the congregation to, to destruction, though, you know. And ultimately, these pastors don't believe in, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They don't believe that that, the, uh, that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is coming back, you know. Yahweh being the father, Yahweh Shai being the son's name, okay, in the Hebrew, right. And uh, these, they're, they're foxes amongst the deserts, you know. And that desert is that dry, barren place, you know, which is basically those dry bones that's in those, these, these churches, okay? You can liken our people to the deserts, you know? Ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the day in the battle of Yahweh, you know? And you haven't built these people up. You haven't put them back together. You haven't uh, 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 put that right covering on them for that hedge, you know, the hedge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, of the true understanding of the scriptures and to be able to, to build the congregation up for that day of battle, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai always talks about a great day of battle, okay, all right, when he's going to send calamity to come upon our people, okay, all right, you're supposed to uh, 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 blow the trumpet, okay, all right, but these, these, these pastors, they fail to do that, you know, all right? 
they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying that Yahweh saith, and that and Yahweh have not sent them, and and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word, you know, because of their appearance though, these people, the congregation would hold on to every word in the Christian church. You know? Alright? Alright, they say they see these men man with these uh 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 these uh 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 thousand dollar suits, you know, they will believe that any word that's coming out of his mouth is gonna be uh, uh um of 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 good good value. You see? You know, but all it is is vanity and lying divination. You know, you know, it's it, it, it's demonic witchcraft. You know, which which is basically from the Roman Catholic Church. You know, and that's where that Christianity comes in. Okay, that that Christianity is nothing but white supremacy. You know, plantation Christianity. You see, you know, and the hope, the the more the the the, the hope, the stronger, the tighter that our people hold on to this this Christianity doctrine. Okay, that your enemy, okay, which is Edom, the so-called white man, is going to continue to rule. Okay, because it all goes back to white supremacy. Okay, all right. Read it on, right? Ye have not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination? Whereas ye say that Yahweh said it. Albeit, I have not spoken, you know, and Yahweh didn't speak uh, uh, to these men. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is not dealing with the pastors in these Christian churches, okay, because they're not leading the people aright, okay, all right. This is, um, let me get, um, Micah chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they learn upon when they lean upon Yahweh and say, It is not Yahweh by Shem Yahweh among us, none evil can come upon us, you know. And these pastors, you know, they judge for reward, you know, okay, all right. The, the tight plate, um, the, the, the tight collection. Goes around, you know, two or three times, you know, in the service, you know, and these they're set up. A lot of them are set up through the 501c3 charter, okay, which is a government uh, 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 program, okay, which gives them a ta tax exemption, all right, and it's a basically just a big tax write off on anything that they do, okay, and this is a great way. All right, through the government for them to get ahead, you know, in the, in, the, in this life, you know, and they and they divine for money, you know, and they get stipends, they get something that's called stipends, okay, and they get uh, a couple of stipends uh, every year, okay, which is they get a sum of money from the government, okay, because truth be told, you'll never see a church go out of business, okay. Any big congregation church, you never see it go out of business, you know. And really, to tell you the truth, you think people, our people really think that their their tie collection really is 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 is, is paying the, the bills in that in that building, you see, you know. But being that this man is set up, you know, you know, he tells them that 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 the Lord is dealing with him and that no evil is going to come upon him. But according to the scriptures, that's on the contrary. You see, that's on the contrary. You know, this is um. Let me jump. This is um. Let's see, let me jump back. Let me jump in. Uh, let me get John chapter ten, verse. 11. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, which is the son. Okay? I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. You know? Who's that sheep? The nation of Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and so called Native Americans. Okay? Right? But he that is in hireling is not the shepherd. Okay? So these pastors in these churches are a hireling. They are not the shepherds of, of Yahweh Shai. Right? Whose own 
whose own the sheep are not. See if the wolf cometh, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth, and the wolf catcheth them, and scatter the sheep. You know, and this these pastors are not telling them, okay, that the wolf is coming, okay, all right. And who's that wolf? The wolf is is Edom, the so-called white man. All right, he, that that destruction is coming, okay, all right. So now he doesn't warn the people that this wolf is coming, and he's gonna leave the congregation and flee, okay. And the wolf is gonna be the snare to them, okay, and catch them. Right? And he was scattered the sheep. You know? Verse 13. The hireling fleeth because he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep, man. So they don't care for the congregation. You know? He's there set up to fill his own belly. You know? That's what he's there for. He's there to, 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 for his own belly. You know? But Yahweh Bashim Shai hasn't sent him. You see? Right? I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known and am known of mine. You know? And that goes to uh 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 uh, uh let's see. It goes into this uh John John I believe it's seventeenth chapter. Let's see. Right? Because the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice. Okay, so this is only given to certain men, you know. All right, this is um John chapter 17, verse 6. I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Okay, right now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me. Are of thee, you know, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. Right? So, this is for the sheep, okay? All right, which is the, the 144,000 uh, 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 prophets plus. The one third, okay? The one third included, okay? That's going to hear the voice of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, the true voice of Yahweh Bashim Abishai, okay? All right? And it's going to cleave on to that name. It's going to cleave on to the doctrine which was passed down through the Spirit through Great Millstone from the apostles and elders on down, okay? All right? But jumping back, this is um, Luke. Chapter 10, verse 16, right? He that heareth you, heareth me. He that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth, despiseth him that sent me. You know? And if anybody hears his word and gravitates towards his word, with myself included, along with the other Akim that's laboring, Okay, and uh, I mean, great millstone. Okay, if anybody hears this word, you know, they hear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. But if you people despise this word, okay, all right, you despise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. And I just want to grab a quick, quick precept concerning despising this word, you know. You know, just, just basic, um, um, book scriptures, you know. This is, um, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. You know? And we practice the, uh, we rehearse the righteous acts. Okay? Alright? Okay? And these pastors teach their men not to do so. You know? They despise this word. You know? And when our people Here's something contrary to what has been taught to them or over the generations and centuries, you know, uh, 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 of, 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 you know, the scriptures. Their, their false understanding of the scriptures, when they hear something that's contrary to what they've been taught, you know, they feel offended. Okay? This word is a, is a reproach unto them. You know? So, anybody that despises this word, okay, shall be destroyed. 
you know? And it's going to come a point in time where you Christians, you can't get, get, get around these scriptures, okay? All right? You're going to have to take it for what it says, okay? You can't act like you didn't hear what it says. When the scripture comes out, you act like you don't hear it, you know? Hey, this word may not be for you, and yet you may be set for destruction. But through the spirit and the power of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, from the apostles and elders on down, all right? The apostle giving out the decree, you know, to uh, uh, um, to uh, to push this word even harder, okay? All right, so that we can we can uh, 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 sift that that elect out of that madness. You see, you know, and you know this is this is what these pastors are uh, 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 do. You know, all right, they speak out of the, the out of their own heart. You know, and there's a judgment for that. Okay, that's one thing they don't teach is judgment, you know, and this is Revelation chapter 22 verse 18 For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book And if any man shall add unto these things Yahweh shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book, you know, and you know These pastors they add to the word Okay, they speak you speak you speaking from your own heart Okay, to the congregation, all right, and yet speaking to the words of the scriptures, all right, yet adding to the book, you know, verse 19, if any man shall take away from the words of the, of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this book, you know, and that's the kingdom, okay, all right, you know, scriptures say that uh, uh, roughly far, uh, paraphrasing that uh, let me you know what let me let me just grab it real quick. This is um Matthew chapter five verse seventeen. You know, think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. And this is when Yahweh was on the scene, and he's telling telling them that. He was not, he's not, he didn't come to destroy the law. He's come to fulfill it, you know, all right? And he's not come to destroy the prophets, you know? You know, these words are, are reigned to be true, right? For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. What be fulfilled, right? Everything being fulfilled in this book, you know, right? And this is where you, you wicked pastors come in, in, in into play. Whosoever there sh therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But who, whosoever shall do and teach them the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And we, we tell you to, to keep the commandments to the best of your ability. Okay, when you come into the true understanding of, of, of this truth of um uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, we are to, to practice the righteous acts. You know, we don't make void the law. You know, okay, all right. We do it to the best of our we we practice the righteous acts and we do it to the best of our ability. You know, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sees that. Okay, he sees that our our, our, our intent because he searches the reins of the heart. You know, so you know, that's it on that. You know. That's a little, uh, couple of little basic scriptures, you know, um, um, you know, with an all-out spiritual soul on, on the Christian church with these pastors, okay, you know, which are, a lot of them are Masons anyway, you know, but that, that's, that's for like another, another, uh, 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 lesson, you know, but, um, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the Akim that's doing his work in Sicilian truth. Shalom.